Salutations ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel, Maniacal Miniatures. In this video we will be doing a deck build for Warhammer Champions, the card game by Playfusion. We will be doing uh, this deck as a template and I will add on to it with some of all these cards over here, which I have unboxed in different videos, you can check them out um, in my video portfolio. Also, um, yeah, this deck will be entered in a giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. That's 500. Um, so yeah, share with your friends and uh, stick around for the deck build. So here we are, guys. Um, we have here the unboxed uh, starter deck uh, for the destruction faction of Grand, Alli Grand Alliance, rather. So let's just defoil this thing, if I could ever figure it out. There we go. Whoopsie. Away with you. Away with you. We put these tokens off to the side. So you have those for later. Let's just check out what we get here. We get two Auric Champions here, two Auric Bosses, a Bone Splitter Shaman, a champion called the Mega Boss on Maw Crusher, the Blessings, Renewed Warlust, Knight of Gorg, Smash and Bash, and Usherin of the Walk. Well, I actually pretty much at the at, at this moment uh, I'm using these three in my own deck, so we might stay with these, but we will check that out. We have two brute smashes. They're quite good. We have two Oruk bashes and two Oruk scrappers. Also great. We have two grud slashers. Um, some people swear to these guys, but I'm not that impressed with them, so I think we're gonna take them out. We have a Crowded Wolf Chariot, that's a great one. Um, albeit, I think the wording is a bit off in my opinion, because it can only be deployed onto a stack of two. That's not what it actually does though. It's It can only be deployed onto a, a stack of one. You have this, like, this guy goes first, and then this guy. That's that's called a stack of two. So, of, strictly speaking, it's correct, but I think the wording is weird because this would be a stack of two, in my opinion, because these are the two stacking on top of the base unit. So I thought it could be used like this, but that's overruling <laughs> the, the basic rules of the game. Um, at the moment, um, these are not sleeved. Uh, of course, you've just seen me um, defoil them, uh, but they will be sleeved when I ship them out. So, yeah. We have the Stomping Maw Crusher, that's great, but I don't think we're gonna use it in this deck though. We have the Ability Mob Rule, we have the Invigorating Chant, I think we're gonna stick with two of these. We have Call of War, Walk Ceremony, and Reckless Inspiration. Um, these are all great cards, but I also think we're gonna skip those. I think we're gonna put these off to a side, those we're not gonna use. So if we put those over there, and I think we're gonna skip a wolf chariot, and I think we're gonna skip these guys, and we can always pull them back in. Uh, if I find out later, then we're gonna use them. This is in the maybe pile, these are in the maybe pile. Yeah, I think we're gonna ditch um, these two guys. Yeah. At the moment, we're gonna skip those two champions and usher in of the walk. So, we have a pretty basic um, deck at the moment. We have tactical formation, we're not gonna use that, that's for sure. Deadly chop, we're gonna need two of those. Uh, Rallying cry, we're gonna need that. Mystic shield, we're gonna skip that. Opportunity strike, eh. Roll smash, eh. We're gonna skip those, and we're gonna skip this. Oh, a booster card. Uh, and a destruction deck. Quick set rules. Uh, yeah, we're gonna skip these. Away with those, and um, let's bring in the reinforcements. Let's check this out. What do we have here? We have Reckless Inspiration. We weren't gonna use those. We have Walk Infusion. Um, I think we're gonna use two of these, actually. And I'm gonna explain it in a bit. We have a ton of those. Glory of War, we're, gonna, we're just gonna skip all the spells because we're not gonna use a ton of spell for this build. As I have it planned out in my head a bit. We have a Might of Gorg, Renewed Warlust, Little Wark, Bellowing Blade. This is a great card. Smash and Bash. Perhaps we should use... Yeah, we're gonna use the Bellowing Blade here for this blessing. It's 
pretty versatile and we are if we get it with our uh, shaman which i intend to use in this deck we are in for a treat of it so we have a ton of these um unaligned cards <laughs> oh my lord that's a ton we are not gonna use any of the unaligned ones for now let's see what we have here we have this champion gork run to bars increase damage done by your opponent to your opponent from this champion's beast units this deck is not going to be built around beasts at the moment so that's one we're going to skip we have stomping guys here we have one more of these we're going to put that in because what i'm looking for here is a a deck built around um Aurochs primarily so we're gonna need one or two of these guys because they're pretty standard basic infantry they give uh, first one damage then one damage and then three damage so that's pretty solid five damage on three turns and if the highlighted champion costs seven or more this damage is done with rend so that means it will circumvent shields and the like uh, and damage reductions so that's that's a great standard issue uh, foot slogger we have uh, the brute smasher which is which is kind of the equivalent except it's one damage less but in only two turns and it sticks around for a third but what makes this card great is it is a stacking unit so you can put it on top of this so yeah if this unit has support too it, it, its damage is done with rend as well we have show off grots here and they're stacking their grot unit. Stacking is great, but we're not building a grot unit, uh, not a, you know, a grot deck at the moment. Um, so I, oh, increase this by one for each support auric. We are putting these in the maybe pile at the moment. Big step our crew. Um, we're gonna need one of these, I think. Maybe two. A Ragnarok spiders, we're not gonna use those. We're gonna need a third one of these guys. We're gonna need a walk chanter, yes of course we are. And a scrap them extra. Uh one or more of these guys. And here are the pièces de la résistance. We need two of these. I don't have a third uh, for this build, but uh, ideally, if you're the one who wins this um, deck, you should go for a third one of these guys. Mitchell Grat, a uh, nice little uh, extra versatility unit. We have two more Rallying Cries and one more Deadly Chop. And I will explain in a second. <laughs> we have Blessings. We were through those. We don't need that. Yep. This goes over here. So, oh, that, that was all the spells, I think. Yep. Okay. I just need to find some more cards because I know I have them somewhere. Just one second. So I'm back guys. Sorry about that. I just, I thought I had all my cards at the ready, but I didn't. Uh, in the last uh, video where I got the, the box from Playfusion, the mystery box, I got some extra um, destruction cards and I just uh, went and got those. We had an additional meat shield grudge. We're gonna put this in the unit pile. Uh, while I was off camera for a bit, I just uh, sorted all these cards into blessings, champions, spells, uh, wizard abilities, units, and warrior abilities. So we have a bit of a, a system going on. Um, we have an additional um, champion here. Massive chapel warpers. Damage from highlighted abilities done with rent. Quite universal, quite powerful. This is in the maybe pile here. We have an additional walk channel, we're gonna need that. The stomping guy, not gonna need that. Two spells, not gonna need those. We already have three of this. And an additional champion, additional ability, we already had three. And surprising skull goes. Oh, so I'm gonna have to take back what I said before. We have three of those for you, the lucky winner. Uh, the great card, uh, uncommon. And uh, the deck kind of relies on these guys, so. That was a nice little treat for me and you both. We have an ability, Grot Ambush. I don't think we're gonna need that. Riptooth Megabus. I think that sky is gonna be our fourth, but what about a Shaman then? Hmm. Maybe we can swap them all out, all these spells. All right then, 
let's just take these off to the side for a bit. I'm sorry, sorry if I'm a bit disorganized here, but I'm just trying to get a little bit of a overview of what we have here. So spells for our, at the moment, imaginary wizard off to the side. We have a three unit, a five unit, and a one unit, and a one unit. So that's way below 20, so that's fine. We have these two to choose between. We have two of the Gorgranted bosses, but that was with the beast unit, so they're quite off for the moment. Another Oral Bus is definitely not needed. Then our options are the Bone Splitter Shaman or the Mega Boss and More Crusher. When this champion removes one or more highlighted unit, gain one additional actions this turn. This could be quite good for you because we're going to play with, with the three of the Deadly Chop, which does exactly that. It removes um, and highlights a spell or unit and does one damage to your opponent. So yeah, three of these and this guy is a nice synergy. Oh, but what does this guy do? The Rip Tooth Mega Boss. Progress this champion's quest one step forwards whenever it removes one or more highlighted units, even if this card um if the even if the card applied the remove also progressed the quest. Um that's quite nice actually because I suppose that means it could uh, rotate these two corners in one go, allowing you to um, enable and blessing faster. Oh, these guys are exciting. It's the same. Those, these are the five different options we have. This guy can cast spells while the highlighted aura unit has support. That's off to the side. So if we place this guy in the middle and we have these two guys on the other sides. Um, increase this champion's damage done by with with spells by three. That's actually not quite needed for this build I had in mind because we are primarily interested in getting um, heals for a bit of um, survivability. But I think we're gonna skip spells for this guy then, um, and this uh, this deck. So we are gonna cast this guy off to the side. So we're not gonna need those. So the champions' choices are between these guys, and I think we're gonna include the Mega Boss and Maw Crusher. It's a bit harder to um, to rotate this guy, um, but he's quite strong, and he it also gives you two additional health points uh, f uh, for from the beginning. So that's nice. Um, I think we're gonna swap these two guys because. Um, yeah, they're about... No, we need a grunt unit for this guy's rotation. Hadn't noticed that. So that will that will also figure into the calculations. We do have these two grunt pouncing wolf riders. But that means you will have to hold one of them off for at least round three. And that's if you get perfect uh, perfect uh, hands. Um, yeah, but let's just make a status here. If we just wait a bit with the with the champions, we are at the moment at two Oroch bosses, a Mega Boss on Maw Crusher, and a massive Chopper War Boss. And this is a maybe. So these two are in the mix. We have Renewed Warlust, which grants you four health and draw two cards. Very um, basic and very nice to get at basically any point in the game. Gives you a bit more to work with uh, and a bit longer to do so. The Might of Gork is the second blessing, which deals three damage on three turns, which is a total of nine. Um, great, versatile. Deals a bit of extra damage. Smash and bash. A bash. It's an instant. Five damage to your opponent, and you rotate all your highlighted units to their final corners, which is quite powerful if uh, timed correctly. And then the fourth one is Bellowing Blade. Increases the damage done by highlighted allied abilities by two and reduces the damage received from highlighted enemies by two. So this is good. It makes you stronger and your enemies weaker. Um, yeah, so the blessings, they're, they're done. So at the moment, I'm just gonna move these off to the side. That's the four blessings there. And I'm just gonna make a status of uh, what we are at at the moment. So we have three cards. We're gonna go with the three deadly chops. We have 
3 rallying cry. The rallying cry, uh, as it says, deploys two units from your hand on, um, on, uh, onto any highlighted champions. They can be wizards. Um, so that's uh, that's quite powerful. It allows you to deploy two units instead of one. So you can get a lot of things into the mix at an instant. And the reason I want to do these cards as well is because you have some extra abilities to rotate these uh, different corners depending on which champions we're going to go with in the end but there's a quite a few abilities that need to to be activated for these guys to go all the way around and uh, also this one will have to be a remove for this guy to rotate um, as you can see here this this must be a rotate so you should calculate that to be a deadly chop and these can be used on these guys so yeah that's three more that's six you're gonna need three of these for the stacking and the um, very uh, above average uh, damage output that makes nine with the uh, three oryx shield bashers that makes 12 and these are also stacking they deal one damage on the first corner allowing you to rotate a guy like this uh, at the, at the first go, the Megaboss. So if this guy deploys an Auric Shield, uh, shield Basher, it will um, it will rotate the, the champion. And uh, this also goes for these two we have in the mix. They also have one of these corners, one of the damage corners. So that was 12. And then we need three of these because they're, uh, they have a lot of staying power. They stay for four turns and they deal four damage while they do so and increase their damage by one per support. So if you stack these up, they will also deal out some nice extra damage and giving you, buying you some time to get to the extra stack. That's make, that makes 15, I believe. Yeah, I think that was 15. I'm gonna recount in a bit. Um, the Pierce de la Resistance, surprising skulkers. They're stacking, they're grad, and at the First to the third corner, they cannot be removed by your opponent in any way. So these have staying power. At the fourth and final corner, these guys will deal three damage. Might not sound like much, but they deal two additional damage per support. So these cannot be removed, and you're guaranteed if you have a full stack to deal seven damage at least, um, plus additional benefits from champions and abilities like that. So these are great, and we are trying to get these into the mix at the maximum stacking we can do. Then we have the two walk chanters for additional um, actions, and uh, they give you three actions each. So that's great, it makes you able to do a lot of different things. And we have the big stabber crew, which uh, don't deal any damage on the first turn, but on the second and third they deal uh, respectively one and two damage and increase this by two if the highlighted champion does not control a unit. So if your op opponent don't have an, uh, a unit, say you place this in front of a, a wizard of some sort, you will um, be dealing three and uh, four damage for a total of seven damage with these guys. So this is quite great against the uh, siege decks for chaos. Um, and uh, Idoneth and the like. I'm not sure we're gonna need two, so at the moment I'm just gonna take one in. Um, we are gonna take the Meal Shield Grats, because these reduce damage received from highlighted enemies by two, uh, for two sec uh, separate times, and uh, they increase that by one per support. And each time this card receives damage, you rotate it. So you don't rotate it on, it own, on its own each turn, so it stays for as long as as it takes for you to uh, receive damage two times. So this is great for, uh, for being, uh, giving you a bit of uh, survivability. So at the moment we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 cards. All right, so we need eight cards, and two of them are gonna be the Gorge of Brood, which we explained at the start. So that's six left. We're gonna take an additional Big Stabber. We're gonna take 
the two Pouncing Wolf Riders, they deal uh, damage to your opponent and you gain additional actions this turn. So at every second corner, you gain one extra action and one damage to your opponent. Quite versatile and you can stack anything on top of these. So we have five cards here. That leaves us with three cards. And we are gonna go with some abilities, I think, because we have a lot of units at the moment and um, we don't have any heals because we left out of wizard. So I think we're gonna have to, to play by either getting some mob rules in here, because these deal uh, two damage to your opponent, increase, the, increase this by three, if the champion controls a unit with support two. So if you have this stack with, uh, say you place the Pouncing Wolf Rider, you let that rotate to the last corner, you are a bit fast then, and you uh, get such a guy in for the, a uh, Bruce Masher in for, for the reset of the stack and you deal two, two damage and get this to the last corner and then you place the Pierce de la Resistance, the surprising skulkers. Then you play the mob rule and you deal uh, five damage from this guy. Um, so that's that's powerful. So I think we're gonna take one of these as well. Yeah, for the moment we're gonna take one of these. The Grunt Ambush can only be played by a disengaged champion. Deploy one grunt unit from your hand or deck onto this champion. If the deck was searched, shuffle it afterwards. Discard the top card from your deck. We don't want to discard anything, I think. So we're gonna skip that. I only think we're gonna need one mob rule, but we could go... No, we're gonna go for a second one as well. These are great, great cards. Uh, gives you a bit of a th thrumping power. And I believe that makes 30 cards. So we have to decide now which of the four champions it will be. We have eight here. And yeah, we can actually take just about any constellation of these guys. I th think we're gonna skip this guy. Yeah, we're gonna skip this guy because we added a bit of additional uh, abilities and this guy does so with rend. So if you play a bit of those uh, mob rules with this cool guy, that's that's great. So yeah, this is these are our champions. These are our blessings, and these are our cards. Two mob rule, and one of these guys. One of these. Um, three of these guys. Yeah, so I think that's about it for this deck. If there's anything you would have done differently, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, if you just happen to win this when I do the giveaway video, if there's something you would rather have of the cards you've just been shown, let me know. And I will try to make that happen for you. But at the, um, at the current, this is what you will be getting. I will just take these out of the way. Away with you. You winged spawn of Satan. So, that's it, I believe. I'm just gonna do a quick recap. Sorry for doing it a third time. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, ooh, 29. So we actually have one more card and that could be a mob rule, but it could also be a unit. And I think I have an idea of what we could take. We could take this the show off gruts and that's what we're going to do because it was a grut unit so that gives you a bit of extra versatility with the, the massive chopper war bus which required the grut so uh, it doesn't have to be the the pouncing wolf rider or um, or the the skulking uh, the skulking guys <laughs> so you have a bit of of, of uh, leg way there um yeah so that's that makes 30. 
these cards will all all of them be sleeved by the time I ship them out and um, yeah they will be in great condition when they arrive that's a guarantee um, at least from my side I will be sleeving them and I will be uh, taping them together with a cardboard piece and putting them in a bubble wrap uh, envelope so the odds are you will get them in perfect condition postman willing <laughs> so thanks for watching that was it for this deck building video ladies and gentlemen i do hope you liked the video if you did like it consider leaving it a thumbs up and subscribe as it helps me on my channel out quite a great deal and also if you do subscribe you help us reach those 500 subscribers so you can get in on the giveaway for this uh, warhammer champions from play fusion destruction deck which we've built this day You'll, yeah, when uh, when we reach those 500 subscribers, I will be making a separate vi video just for that, a giveaway video, video where um, I will explain all the terms uh, and conditions. I will say right now, I will be shipping this anywhere in the world at my own expense. It will be free uh, of any charges for you. So you just have to subscribe. It won't cost you a bit. And, you're, and when we reach those 500 subscribers, you need to comment on that video I will be making it at that time and you're in on the giveaway. I will do a, a giveaway video where you can see me drawing the winner. I will of course blur out the names and stuff like that, but we will take that when we get there. Uh, again, yeah, I hope you like this video. If you'd like to see more um, uh, PlayFusion and Warhammer Champions related content, check out this video. And then there's just left to say in the immortal words of Mahatma Gandhi, live as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you were to live forever. See you in my next video.